Golf in Japan is simply amazing. From shoe cleaners on every tee box to spacious four-person golf carts, the Japanese do things a little differently, like conveniently placing ashtrays behind every green. For today's video, I've traveled to the island of Hokkaido, flying into Sapporo and then taking a 90-minute car ride to a secluded course nestled deep in the mountains. This is my first time playing golf in Japan, so let's show you every shot for my round at the beautiful Saharo Country Club. Well, the opening hole at Saharo Country Club is beautiful. Just 395 yards, this actually plays significantly downhill and is actually a very nice, easy way to open up this round. I decided to be aggressive. I hit driver, carried that tree, and I've got just over 50 yards left. And this is a tricky little shot coming out of the rough. And I'm really working on my landing spot, wanting to hit it just below the flag, let it release. That's worked out perfectly. And we have exactly eight feet up the hill for our birdie putt. Solid stroke, was surprised it broke that much, but nonetheless, an easy par to start our round. Hole number two, the first of very many reachable par fives here at Saharo, and we've hit a great drive with a beautiful draw, and we are in position A, ready to attack. Now for my second shot, this is just 200 yards in. I'm hitting a six iron because you do hit the ball a little bit further here in the mountains. Didn't make it, but we've left ourselves in position A, straight up the hill with an easy chip, and that nearly goes in the hole for an eagle, but we'll have a nice tap-in birdie to get our round going. Hole number three is 443, one of the longest on the golf course, and we've hit a nice draw here. We're just gonna be in that left cut, but honestly, the ball is flying a long way, and this is just about 115 yards in, and we have taken dead aim at this and come up just a little bit short, solid swing, but we're gonna have a lengthy birdie putt up the hill. And the big thing when you're working on this big putts is just try to get your speed control right. Again, close to getting in the hole, but you're always gonna take those tap-in pars. Your first par three of the day comes here at the fourth hole, and this is an interesting tee shot. It's 200 yards, but you need to needle it through this gap, and we managed to do just that with a nice little draw, catching the left side of that green. And this is a lengthy birdie putt, probably 50 feet. Being a little bit aggressive here as I'm feeling quite confident on the greens, Gave that a good roll, and now we've got our first testy par putt of the day. This is just over four feet, and confidently walk that in for par. This hole sets up really good for my draw, just 418 yards again, and we have hit the middle of the club face and managed to be in position A, and this is just a small wedge coming in for this one, and again, once again, taking dead aim right there, and we're off to a really good start in today's round, merely with some nice ball striking. This is about 20 feet down the hill. I was a little bit timid because this speed was pretty fast. And once again, we're always going to take those tap-in pars. It's time for our second birdie of the day, and we're going to try to get one here at the par 5-6 hole. Hit a decent tee shot here, pulled this a little bit, but we're going to be in our first big cut of rough here. I'm trying to muscle a hybrid here. Don't hit this very good, but it is a good miss. And nonetheless, we're going to have just over 100 yards left for our third shot. And again, feeling really confident with the wedges here. I decided to take dead aim, hit a great wedge shot here, and we're just going to have about 12 feet left for our birdie. And let me tell you, the greens here in Japan are simply amazing. And we confidently roll that in for our second birdie of the day to get to two under par. Seventh hole, another lengthy par four, and I made my first big mistake of the day, trying to hit that draw, but actually block it well out to the right. No other option here but to simply punch out, and that's exactly what we did, taking our medicine, and let's see if we can get par the old school way. This is a nice wedge shot, really felt confident on this, and we've left it just below the hole and have ourselves a very decent chance at saving a par here. 10 feet, dead up the hill. I was actually surprised it was this slow. Had the line, and that is our first bogey of the day. Second par three of the day, and this is very unusual. The key boxes on these par threes are really crowded. We've got more trees on the left, a big tree to deal with in front of the green. This is a six iron as the flag is all the way back, playing around 200 yards. Solid swing, middle of the green. We're gonna take that every time. And again, this is how you play boring golf. Just try to get as many greens in regulation, hit good putts, and just keep two putting and make those pars. But as we round out that front nine, this is a very gettable hole. Just 350 yards. This was my driver swing of the day. Absolutely pummeled right down the middle of the fairway. And we've got just over 30 yards left, and this should be an easy up and down but we first have to execute that wedge shot. And now we have about six feet left, straight up the hill. Not my best stroke. Really feel that I left one away, 
but we'll take the par and make the turn at one under. Love this tee shot on the 10th hole. Only 398 yards, and I've decided to hit a three wood. We've slung that around, hit the slope, and we're going to be in position A right in the middle of the fairway. And this honestly was my wedge shot of the day. Just about 120 yards in, and I take a gap wedge, hit it right next to the pin. Actually, almost went in, but spun back, and we're going to have a very good chance to get a birdie putt here. Love the stroke right down the line, and we are back in the game with another birdie. We finally have an open tee shot here on a par three. It comes at the 11th, just 188 yards. This is another solid swing just below the hole. And again, feeling really confident. I'm hitting a lot of greens. For you amateurs that want to get better, that is the key thing. Keep trying to hit as many greens as possible. And that was not a good first putt. This is straight uphill, left it well short. But again, easy distance, and we get that par save. Really love this tee shot on the 12th hole. 422 yards, was trying to hit a cut here. Ended up actually just pulling that a little bit. We're gonna have our first big tree trouble of the day. Got to flight this under. Actually hit a pretty decent shot. Just came out a little bit more left and long than I wanted. And now we're gonna face a very difficult up and down. Well beyond the green, I've decided to take this here. I thought this would actually kick left, but instead it goes down right. And now we've got a very lengthy putt up the hill for our par save. Terrible stroke here. Let's just tap in for a bogey and get out of here. And on to our next par five. This is the 13th hole playing straight up the hill. One of the longer holes on the golf course, 539. We blocked that a little bit to the right, but that's not gonna hurt us. We're gonna be going for this green in two. And you can see the angle of this camera. I'm on a severe side slope here, taking a hybrid and deciding to just go ahead and rip this towards the green. Not a bad shot, gonna leave us about 60 yards left for that third shot. Now this actually wasn't too hard of a shot, just 60 yards in the second cut, but my club slid right under that rough, I'm quite short, and not the birdie putt I wanted to have here, but nonetheless, make a pretty good stroke, almost make it, and another tap in par. We're on the 14th hole, and this was one of my better tee shots of the day. This is a downhill dog leg that goes right to left. Approach shot on 14, pretty solid, but the wind catches this a little bit, pushes it right, but nonetheless, we've missed it in a great part of the green. And for you amateurs that want to get better, this is one of the key skills you need to have, learning to miss it in the right spaces. We didn't hit the green, but we're just short of the green, just off the fringe, and honestly, from this position, this is a chip that you want to try to make. Pretty decent effort. I thought it would release more, but nonetheless, it's an up and down and another par. The 15th is my favorite par three on the golf course. It just really sets up nice with those mountains in the back. And this was an absolute bomb of a seven iron right over the flag stick, tracking the whole time. Actually just hit it a little bit too deep. We have a lengthy birdie putt here and my speed control has been really good all day. This wasn't my best birdie putt, but as you can see, I'm pretty much lagging everything up between two to three feet and really making a lot of stress-free pars. I'm really happy with my ball striking today, but I want to get a few more birdies coming on these last three holes, and we're off to a great start on 16. Another three wood, another committed swing, and we are in position A. Just over 100 yards here. I thought this would actually be a lot better, but again, I came out of this a little bit, a little bit short right, not the miss you want to have when you have just a wedge in your hand. And once again, we're going to have a very long putt for birdie. Just need to clean up the wedge shots a little bit, and we have ourselves a testy little four-footer, but all day we've been making these, so there's no point to stop now, and we confidently roll that in and keep that momentum going. We're on the 17th tee box, and it reminded me a lot of the 14th tee shot that I hit earlier in the day. So I tried to channel in those energy and basically hit the same shot, and we did. We hit the exact same shot, a nice, beautiful high draw in position A, and now we're going to go flag hunting and see if we can get that elusive birdie. Really committed shot here. Notice how I hold that follow through to kind of flight this down. And we've done just that, having ourselves about 15 feet down the hill for birdie. We've been hitting good putts all day and it's time that one drops and we get it to go here on number 17. And we've made it to the final hole. Beautiful par five, 523 yards. And this was a fantastic drive right in position. Now today's shot was straight downwind. So this is actually not more than just an eight iron in. I had about 160 yards in. 
This is a nice controlled eight iron, and I hit a really solid shot, just pulled it a little bit left, a little bit long, but nonetheless, in a good spot to get up and down. And now we have a chip on the last hole for our eagle, and let's see how we do. Hit a good shot, hit my mark, but it's straight down the hill, runs out a little bit, but we're gonna have a very good attempt straight back up the hill for our birdie putt, and let's see if we can finish off the round in style. Another committed shot goes in the hole, and you always know dinner's going to taste better when you make birdie on 18. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog from the beautiful Saharo Country Club here in Hokkaido, Japan. It was an absolute pleasure to play this golf course, and if you are ever in Japan, make sure you do, because this golf course only costs around 120 US dollars to play. For Japanese standards, that is extremely cheap. And as you can see throughout today's vlog, the course conditioning was simply incredible. As always, thank you for spending time with me here on YouTube. Drop me a comment down below, and I can't wait to see you in our next golf adventure soon.